Yo, what is good, everybody? And thank you so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust Wild Honey. So as you probably read in the title description or the thumbnail of today's video, we're going to be talking about what is ThriftCon. Now, there's a very good chance that you have no idea what ThriftCon is. And you know, honestly, I personally had never heard of it prior to me just kind of scrolling through Instagram one day and finding out about it. I'm still convinced Instagram spying on me. In this case, I was really, really thankful to hear about it because in all honesty, going into the event, I had no idea what to expect, but things really did work out on that Sunday. Now with that to say, for precautionary measure, I did bring my vlogging camera with in case it was worth making a vlog out of it which it definitely was, but unfortunately, the music was so loud in there that it was impossible to make a video or a vlog without the potential risk of a copyright claim. So I decided to kind of stitch together some of the video footage that I did get to make kind of a mini vlog or like a small window of what you can come to expect. Now keep in mind, this is just a small glimpse because in all honesty, it was actually a whole lot better than I had anticipated. Anyways, enjoy this quick little mini vlog and I'll see you here in just a little bit and we'll give you guys my overall thoughts on the event as well as my numerous amount of pickups. Video, we're heading in to the LA Convention Center for this new thing. I've actually never been to it before, ThriftCon here in LA. Now, I don't know exactly what to expect, but I do know that I love thrifting and I love vintage. All right, guys, so as previously stated, we are here at the LA Convention Center, and I actually forgot how big this place was. We're literally in the middle of the place, and we can't hear a single thing happening with regard to ThriftCon, and, uh, yeah, it kind of speaks volumes for how like huge this place is. Thank you so much for coming through. I got a hardware, I got a hardware swap. Right, so we just got in. guys so we've been here for about two and a half hours and i actually ended up purchasing a little bit more than i anticipated but with that to say if you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to hit the thumbs up button i'm probably going to end up narrating a majority of this video because i'm not trying to get claimed thriftcon has been an absolute blast i've gotten to meet a lot of different people out here yo what is good everybody welcome back as you guys just saw thriftcon was actually crazy some of the most insane pieces garments items and overall collections all under one roof it was it was amazing experience and i would definitely go back next year if they do decide to do it honestly it was just so fascinating and so fun and just a really great day out kind of talk with people and and see the community and and hear stories of where these things came from and the origin and things of that nature it was just really really cool but if i had one criticism and this is a really slight criticism and it's totally out of the hands of like thriftcon but a lot of it felt very very transactional and what i mean by that is some of the pricing on this stuff that would kind of just give me the price and kind of walk away those are some of the people who also simultaneously had the most insane prices like it was just extraordinary that it's almost insulting like it's just so far beyond what you kind of think or whatever that you could think that this could be valued at and i have to say that happened quite a bit uh, there was a lot of really insane prices but i do want to end this on a good note because i ended up buying a lot of stuff and one thing i ended up buying for a giveaway because I found two pairs of pants that I really liked. I couldn't decide which one I wanted more for my personal. So I got them both. And if any of you guys are a size like 30 to 31, definitely drop a comment below and like today's video if you want these because they're both super fire. I'm just keeping one of them. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into 
uh, this uh, haul here, if you will. I'll go through it relatively quickly because, yeah, I don't want to make this video too, too long. First up, I got this single stitch, beautifully aged. I don't know if this is a little black bear. Just a really, really beautiful t-shirt. It is double-sided, so up front you have his face kind of walking towards you. And then on the back, you have his, uh, his back. So just the fire tee, fade and age on this thing is beautiful. It is single stitch. And I was able to get this one for a very, very good price in a trading pit. Next up, as you guys may or may not already know, I love Brockham tees. I love the blanks and uh, an XL fits me perfectly. So I didn't really have to try these on to know that I would like them. First up, we have this ACDC tee. As you can see up front, the fade is just all right on it. Not too, too dramatic or anything. I mean, just for reference, uh, this is also a Brockham tee. And uh, this is like much, much lighter. But uh, yeah, it's still a fire tee nonetheless. I got it for a really good price. Next up, we have another Brockham blank and it is a Guns N' Roses tee. Again, very fire. For the price I did pay, um, I can't really complain. Double-sided, single stitch. You guys know the drill. I don't need to go too, too far in depth. But uh, yeah, Brockham XLs, man. Very, very good. Last up for tees is one that I was actually very hesitant on because the price was kind of high. Given how it's aged and how it fits, I feel like it's like somewhat justified, but um, I'm not gonna keep you guys in the dark. Uh, we have a Def Leppard shirt here, and as you can see, I mean, it's almost one-to-one -one with this Pink Floyd Sundial shirt I'm wearing right now. So, so fire. Um, I'm a sucker for just like a good age when it's like kind of almost that like grayish color, that charcoal color. And uh, yeah, that's the last of it with regard to t-shirts, all single stitch, all beautiful. And uh, those were at a very good price. And this one was, uh, yeah, I paid a little bit for that one. Next up is a purchase that I may or may not regret buying because it's, uh, it's a little bit big. And I was really foolish about not trying this on before, but I just fell in love with how this thing looks. It's just a little bit too big. I'm really, really having a hard time if I'm gonna keep it or not. It's just a little bit big, it's just a touch big. I feel like I can pull it off. Gabby says I could pull it off. My little sister says it looked great on me, but I'm still not fully convinced. But what we have here is a Carhartt Detroit work jacket. Really, really fire. And as you can see up front, there's just so much fading. It's olive, it's got the contrasting uh, collar here. It's just beautiful. Somebody wore this thing into the ground and uh, it's really nice. Uh, up top, we have some distressing. It's like all torn up in the collar area. And you can find that all throughout the jacket. But yeah, I'm really on the fence on whether or not I'm gonna keep it because it's just a touch bigger than I'd like. Next up on the topic of workwear, I got a pair of Carhartt pants. As you can see, it's got very minimal distressing. There's some like red paint and stuff like that a little bit, but it's hardly noticeable. And I love how these fit. Amazing, amazing pair of pants, man. Uh, Carhartt, just amazing quality. I believe the guy that sold me these said that they were from 1995. He bought them from the original owner. Now on to, I guess, maybe why you made it this far through the video. Uh, I have one more pair of pants that I am giving away. And the sole reason for that being is I couldn't decide when I was there. Unfortunately, there's no like changing rooms and stuff like that. Um, I got another pair of Carhartt work pants and uh, these are a bit crazier. Totally blank on the back, but up front is where the magic is. Look at these, man. Like these are so, so crazy and sick. And I saw them instantly and knew right away I was gonna purchase them. It's actually the second pair that I was kind of hesitant on, uh, which is funny because I'm gonna end up keeping those. But yeah, just an insane pair of pants. There's literally burn marks on these pants, just crazy. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna hoard all these pants to myself. So I did decide to give these away to anybody who can fit around, I think they honestly fit a 32. So if you're anywhere from a 30 to a 32, uh, these would have a chance to fit you. I mean, you have nothing to lose if you want to join the giveaway. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be picking somebody in the comment section to take these home. So uh, if you guys do want these pants, let's go ahead and say like today's video and comment that you want in on the Carhartt Painter Pant giveaway. And uh, yeah, I'll just pick somebody randomly in the comments and announce it on my Instagram later this week. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. I wish I could have vlogged more inside the actual place. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want more vintage type of content, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, it's a major privilege for me 
to get to do what I get to do here on YouTube. As in every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed.